Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create cinematic coloring in your photos in under two minutes. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you an incredibly simple method you can use to add cinematic coloring to your photos. Time to start the timer, let's jump into Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab an adjustment layer. We're gonna to go to solid color. Now here in your solid color, you can really choose just about any color you want. We're gonna choose a nice saturated blue. Let's hit okay there. And then we're gonna change our blend mode from normal down to exclusion. One of those blending modes you don't use very often, but it adds a color into your shadows and then it's complement into the highlights. So I'm gonna click on my opacity slider and we're gonna go right down to about 30%. I find that's kind of the sweet spot for cinematic coloring. Now you can just simply double click on your adjustment layer and you can change your color at any time. Mostly I suggest sticking in the cool color range. That's gonna add cool colors to your shadows and warm colors to your highlights, which are gonna look really good on skin tones. Now to make things easier, I've created an action that you can download on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So the first thing I wanna do is go to window and down to actions. Let's click on our menu icon and go down to load actions and then simply click on your Flurn Cinematic Look.atn that's included in your download. So simply click on the look you'd like and hit play and you can see it tones your image with cinematic coloring. And these are all actions that I think look incredible and give your image unique cinematic looks. Now, if you really wanna complete the look, you wanna add black bars to the top and bottom, constricting your photo to a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So to load the black bars, just go to file, down to open, and here you can see you have your cinematic look bars.png. We'll just open that up. Now this PNG has transparency built into it. So all you have to do is use your move tool and click and drag from one image to another one and you have your black bars across your image. Now if you need to, you can always resize it if your image is larger or smaller and make sure you hold shift so it keeps the same aspect ratio. It's got a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is perfect for film. All right guys, there we have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our before and the after. Guys, that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed learning, you're gonna love Flurn. We release these tutorials every single week. So hit that like button right down below. Hit that subscribe button. We'll send you new free tutorials every week. And if you wanna go even more in depth, check out Flurn Pro. You can go to flurn.com slash YouTube and save 10% on your subscription. It's incredible. It's just like this tutorial, except hundreds and hundreds of hours. Everything you'd ever wanna learn right there in one package. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for watching.